look so crazy right now because I woke up early. Not only from Artemis waking up twice a night, but I, I had to take him to his one year. Oh, excuse me. Uh, his one year appointment. So his 12 month checkup where they're gonna give him shots. And that boy does not want to be held anymore. He wants to be crawling on the floor and grabbing everything. And it's like, damn it. Anyways, they gave him his shots and it was like so horrible to watch him cry. Ew, it sucked. But yeah, I basically woke up, got him fed, got him dressed and took him to the doctor. And I was barely able to rake this mess of a hair and get Ron and I the door in time to make it to his appointment not only that but they took forever and then I had an appointment today to get more permanent uh, long-term birth control and I weighed in today at the doctor's office and I feel so disappointed in myself and so sad and I think I'm gonna be depressed for the rest of the day at least give myself today to be depressed and then try to come up with an action plan because I weighed in at 180 180 I was looking at the scale and it was like a huge slap it felt like a huge slap because I worked so hard for the past not this year but last year before I got pregnant to keep myself in check to count my calories, to not eat and drink at the same time, to not have rice, to not have like all these carbs, to focus on protein, to try to cook more at home, to try to be more active, like all kinds of stuff. I tried so hard and I've met my goal and now that my life is pretty much upside down because it's not me who's the priority or my husband, it's the baby. And I am lucky if I can make a healthy food choice with like salmon or something but usually I'm on the run I have a full-time job and I know it sounds like a bunch of excuses but I'm exhausted I'm so tired I don't get enough sleep at night and when I'm not at work I'm with Artemis and when he's asleep I am catching up on chores and like bottles making sure he has enough food just I don't see, I'm trying to find a balance in my life, but I don't see how I can do it right now. And so I have, I've restored it back to, and then it's not old eating habits because I'm not sk skipping my breakfast. I am, I think I'm overeating because I'm so stressed out. I think I'm trying to find a little bit of like satisfaction in my eating and that's terrible and I don't know how to stop it right now. I'm so disappointed and yeah it's just four pounds from the last time but that's what happened the last four pounds since I've gotten out of being pregnant since giving birth I've gained four pounds and I know it doesn't seem like a lot to a lot of people but I went from 150 to being pregnant and gaining 30 pounds to going back to 170 then 174 and now I'm 180 Next month is my three year anniversary, surge anniversary. And I know that I shouldn't focus so much on the number and just focus on the habits. I know this, but that number today just really slapped me in the face. I'm gonna give myself today to wallow in my depression. <laughs> <laughs>